Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to convert a 2D building to a 3D building and how we are going to visualize it in 3D. So for this step, we need to convert the 2D data to 3D data. So first step is we are going to add our building data set. So you can see here, this is our shape file, polygon shape file. So these are the buildings. As you can see it, it is currently in 2D. And if you just open the attribute table of this buildings, you can find uh, an important thing. So each building has a height value. So with this, we are going to create the 3D view of the data. So from 2D, we are going to convert it into 3D, right? So like you can see here, each building has an height. So now let us close this and after going to map, so let me clear the selection. Now in order to convert it into a 3D map scene, we are going to go to the option view and from view we are going to convert it. So we are going to convert it to a local scene. So now we have opened the 3D map scene, so previously we were in we are visualizing in 2D and using map 3D we can view the our data in 3D. Now we are going to convert this building from 2D to 3D. So first select building or your layer file which is having the building and followed by that you can see here after clicking on building you can find the option feature layer so click on it. Once you have clicked on it so now we are going to set the height for our building. So here I am going to choose absolute height. Now after choosing absolute height, you can choose the field which is having the building height. So in this case, my attribute height is containing the building elevation value that is height value. So now you can set the meters also units. For example, here I have set it in meters. You can choose it accordingly based on your data and you can still see uh, the data seems to be in uh, 2D but it is not so. Uh, long press your mouse and you can just uh, move the axis to the top, bottom, left and right in order to visualize your data in 3D form like this. You can change the axis you can long press the scroll button and move it like this so you can enable the lighting like this and uh, shading using this option so you can still see the building i have selected it now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the option view and here you can actually so you can set the light based on time if you click on here you can see here how it just looks like based on the time it will be updated so like this you can visualize the building data in 3d so in this case i just have a few exam few buildings if you have a larger building it will be looking much more beautiful you can also set the perspective drawing so you can see two types are there available perspective drawing mode and parallel drawing mode so if you select this, it renders in a parallel projection, useful for technical drawing and scientific visualization. So you can see here, you can see the difference, right? Uh, how it was there in previous view. So like this, you can explore. And there are some more other options also available. you can also set some visual effects for example from the top you can see there are some visual uh, effects like uh, blueprint you can see how it is looking like then uh, mono color black and white 
tool so and you can also have you can see here some effects you can see how it is looking so you can choose the effects accordingly so like this you can choose the visual effects so I hope that this video will be useful for you so you can set it accordingly if you want you can add it and if you want you can deselect it and if you want to export this you can also do that so after correctly setting the view and one more thing you can also change the base maps you can add 3d maps you can see there are also 3d base maps so in order to export it click on share you can, you can directly use capture to clipboard and you can directly paste it to your ppt or you can save that as image also so if you want to export it as a pdf you can use this print map and you can save it as a pdf file also so if you like this video please uh, do like us and subscribe to the channel and feel free to comment on the video thank you